YouTube. Say what's up, YouTube. Say what's up. Say what's up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna be um, basically discussing why our son is on oxygen. You can't tell. And um, this video is gonna be pertaining to Saturday's vlog, which will be put up on Sunday. So basically, um, the reason our son is on oxygen is because he's born premature. He was born at 26 weeks, one pound, three ounces. And um, so Saturday, we're gonna be doing a March of Dimes walk for him, which is for preemie babies and mothers so that they can find a cure or a way to prevent um, premature birth and you know kids being born too soon or dying or anything so our son was born at 26 weeks one pound three ounces as i said before yep. he spent seven months in the NICU well six and a half months basically two more weeks before he was gonna be seven months so he was in the NICU for seven months basically and um he had five fractures his uh right femur was you know broken half so that was one of his fractures i can't think of the other fractures right now but Yeah, he had five fractures while he was in the NICU. Um, he ended up having to get five surgeries. Um, and once we got home, once we got to bring him home, I'll insert some pictures too, so you guys will be seeing pictures of him when he was first born. And I can tell like, now. Like this big. Yeah, he was like, like this big, y'all. So cute, his little head. His little head. When um, I was admitted to the hospital, and so then, uh, you know, I was admitted in the hospital for something else. But then all of a sudden, two weeks after I was admitted in the hospital, Amirius decided he wanted to be born already. So I was having contractions, and then they was like, if you have more contractions and his heart rate keeps dropping extremely low, we're going to have to go ahead and take him. So they went ahead and took him, and he was born just like this big. You could fit him in the palm of your hand. And uh, and here he is now, big, and he's healthy. Look at him, y'all. Look at him. Oh, stand, up. stand up, little man. This is a myriad. Say hey to YouTube. Say hey to YouTube. Say hey to YouTube. Say hey to YouTube. So y'all gonna see me walk Saturday. So y'all gonna yeah. see me walk Saturday. Uh, he's two years old now, so. Yeah, y'all. So yeah, he. Yeah, the struggle's real. The struggle's real out there with premature babies. It really is. It really yeah. Is. It's hard. It's hard. So here he is now. He's still. Healthy, still on oxygen, but soon he will be off of it. Hopefully, I'm thinking. Hopefully. So here's our shirts. We got some shirts made for our family and our team um, for the March of Downs walk, and they say "Fight like a preemie." Fight like a preemie, Marius. Fight like a preemie. And they say "Team Marius" on the back, and it says 26 weeks, one pound three ounces on one of the other foot. And then his shirt. I don't know where he put it. His shirt's made a little bit different. It says, fight like me. Since you know you with the preemie. And it says, 26 weeks, one pound, like three it? ounces. Look at me now. So. Comment if y'all like it. Comment. Yeah, comment if like you like the shirts. Comment if, comment if you know anyone who was a premature baby. Who, um, you know someone who was born premature. Someone who... If you was born premature or a you mom, just have a who, baby. yeah. So comment Anybody below because I want to hear baby. you guys' stories. I love reading other stories about premature, premature babies, babies and yeah. stuff. It's it's good to yeah. hear. So this is our son. You don't see him in much of our videos because he doesn't like to be in them. But here he is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's what Saturday's vlog will be. And you guys will be seeing that vlog on Sunday. <laughs> And I'll be inserting pictures in this video so that you guys can see or get a look at what he's been through, you know, how he looked when he was first born. And um, also, we got to get Amiria's home. He ended up sick, but he didn't get sick from being home. He was sick from in the hospital, but they could never figure out what happened. He ended up getting better for a little bit, and then he was sent home. So once he was sent home, we had him like at home for like, I think a week. And then he started just crying a lot. He was screaming and crying a lot. Um, his heart rate would be going up to like 220, and then his oxygen had to be turned up way more than it was supposed to be. So then uh, one of his doctors, one of his therapists that would come, realized that he was breathing really hard. So he had to be rushed to the hospital. And
Then we found out that he had MRSA in his lungs. So MRSA pneumonia in his lungs. Yeah, I remember that day too. So he had to be put back in the ventilator. I was just saying, man, I couldn't ride an ambulance on yeah. yeah. He had to be put back in the ventilator. I was put back in. Put back on the ventilator. He was on it for a little while, and they gave him antibiotics and stuff. So that he could fight it. So basically, he was fighting for his life. He was fighting for his life then, and in the NICU, the whole seven months he was in the NICU, he was fighting for his life. Like, Amir is <laughs> And here he is now, all uh, excited and happy might. and strong. But yeah, so I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why he was on oxygen. So we had to go ahead and let you guys know. This is just a brief summary. We're not going to go into a lot, all the details, because we literally can talk on for hours on about um, him and, you know, what he's been through. So, yeah, this is our son. I'm and just here. raising him. Just raising him, man. It's... It was a handful. It really was. It was a handful. It really was a handful. So here's our little blessing, Amirius. Yeah, he doesn't like the camera that much right now, but hopefully soon he will. We'll start doing more, you know, vlogs and stuff with him so you guys can see him a lot more. But yes, make sure you comment down below if you have a story about someone who was premature that you know. Mm -hmm. If you was born premature or, you know, if somebody you knew had a premature baby. For the ones who do not know that your baby could be any ba anybody's baby can come out premature. Like it can just happen. Like there's nothing. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I was doing none of that. It just he was just ready to come out. Just had contractions contractions out of nowhere, and um, he was ready to come. So yeah, it can happen to anybody. You know. So this March of Downs walk is to help raise awareness that this is a serious thing. Babies die. This is one of the leading causes of death for babies. So you guys will get. A good sneak peek of what the vlog is going to be like for Saturday, which will be posted on Sunday. So, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for this for next, next video, video and for this vlog. And we're going to be having more vlogs coming along, so stay tuned. It's going to be good. Yep.